the words that a person speaks to the Creator are the words that he is speaking to his own soul. Now, a person needs to believe in himself that when he is talking to himself, the Creator listens to his prayer. Just focusing calmly in a regular, deep and simple way in our thoughts and just talking simply to the Creator and telling Him our heart. It's such a simple thing and in the same time the most divine and high and noble thing that a person can do in his lifetime. Just to say the most honest prayer of them all, please Father in Heaven, here I am in my place, in my life, in the most humble place that can be, facing you, came out to speak with you. Heaven is above my head, earth under my feet, and I'm just here, standing, thinking, hoping for your salvation. What can I do for you that I haven't done? What can, what can I offer that I haven't offered yet? I know that you saw the honest intention of my heart. I know that you know that my intentions are pure because you know my heart and you know I'm honest. And from that place I can just tell you, we need your help. We need you to show us your loving kindness. We need you to open gates of mercy on all of us, on all of your beloved ones, for all of us together. Such holy souls around me, such awesome and fantastic, gentle and nice people, friends and students around the world, my special family, and all of us, we care so much. Like, we love you so much and we love each other and we want the good to win. We want you to win. We want the real truth of your kindness, of your endless love to be revealed. We want that every person in the world will have an equal opportunity to be who he is, to express himself, to enjoy liberty, prosperity, health, happiness, honor, respect, we're not asking for luxuries, we're not asking for pleasure, we're just asking you to take care of our basic needs, that there will be no person without a house, without a shelter, no person that will be worried how to supply to his family how to buy all the things they need, his children, his wife, and for himself. That we will have time to see it and learn your wisdom, the Torah that you gave us. That we will be able to grow. That our honest, most honest prayers always will be answered. And that we will see your loving kindness. That we will see all those verses that we are reading and memorizing and learning that we will see that they will all come true we're begging we're asking hoping yearning screaming crying for years 
for generations were begging, please, Rebbeinu Shel Olam, reveal your unconditional love. Where is that love that is hidden for so many years? Where is it? And we're still hoping, still praying, still expecting those wonderful promises to come true into our lives that no one will left behind, that no one will lack a thing, that no one will be scared, no one will be sad, no one will be left alone in sorrow, in pain, struggles, that no one will be scared, no one will be terrified, no one will be depressed. Open our eyes to know what can we do to open those gates for the complete redemption, for the complete salvation. From what that I know, from what that you taught me, I know for sure that the people that I meet, that those holy souls that I'm in touch with are all desiring you with a real honest and sincere heart. We all following your light with passion, with dignity, with pride, proud to be your children, proud to serve you, proud to be called under your name and waiting for your salvation. And your salvation is our salvation. To your salvation we're waiting, not only for you to save us and that the salvation will be the one that you saved us, your salvation. It's also your salvation, because as long as we're in the exile and we're suffering from pain and sorrow, decrees and plagues, poverty, weaknesses and illnesses, for sure there is no happiness in your dorms, in your place, in your, in your palace in heaven, in your hidden place. There is no happiness to a parent, to a father, that his children are suffering so badly. So So for your salvation we are waiting all day long, expecting for you to be redeemed, for you to be saved. For you to be answered, for you to achieve what it will make you happy, that all your children will be safe and sound, healthy and strong, powerful and wise and clever and wealthy and rich and holy and proud of themselves, honored and respected, blessed. Oh, yeah. We're hoping for your salvation. We're waiting for your redemption, for that day that your throne of honor will be complete, that you will come out from your darkness, from your exile, that you will be redeemed, that you will be saved. As for now, we can just work on our faith not to forget you for a second, as for now, we can just call you and call you from the depths. Ribbono shel olam, ribbono shel olam. Ribbono shel olam, ribbono shel olam. Ribbono shel olam, ribbono shel olam. Ribbono shel olam. The master of the universe. The king of all kings. To your salvation, we are waiting, hoping, expecting, yearning, crying, begging, screaming, roaring, dreaming. You're the source of blessings. Come out of prison. Come out of the prison of your exile and come back to your people that are being called under your name, after your name. 
כי לישועתך קיווינו כל היום, because to your salvation we are waiting all day long. May it be your will that our prayers will be answered. Amen. כן יהי רצון. We hope you enjoy this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit emuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.